Hello, this is Bishop, and welcome to part four. Yeah, four. Four of the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing there, autopilot? Um, <laughs> relatively unscientific and uncontrolled ex experiments with firmware 172676. I'm just going to drop myself here for a second. Um, in winding mountain roads during rain and relatively low light visibility. So... Um, as promised, this is now the northbound road, so I'm no longer facing directly into the sun as it sets, which was hampering visibility with the wet road and the reflection off of the wet road. Um, so now I'm on a northbound road, which does not have a right-hand lane and only has a center lane. And not super thrilled with uh, how the autopilot is handling it. So I'm going to go ahead and re-engage. I'm going to drop it down to 5 miles per hour over posted speed limit, and... Wow, this thing really is pulling me off to the shoulder. I do not know what's going on with that. Um, so it's clearly detecting one line, you can see, in the instrument panel. No hands, we'll see how this goes. Um, but it kept pulling me off to the shoulder for some reason. Let's see what it does right now. It's going to, whoa, what are you doing there, car? Okay, I don't know what it tried to do there. I think it panicked a little bit coming over the crest of the hill, which is one of the concerns generally that I sort of have with autopilot of losing visibility of the lane lines because of an elevation difference. As you're coming over the crest of a hill, uh, you don't necessarily have a clear line of sight. A human driver will sort of infer that, you know, if there weren't any signs indicating that the road was about to turn, the road will continue in a relatively straight fashion after you come over the crest of the hill. The autopilot doesn't seem to have that context. It doesn't understand that, hey, you should probably just keep going the way that you're going unless there were signs to indicate otherwise, since, as I mentioned earlier, we know the autopilot is not reading street signs yet. Okay, so I engaged the autopilot a little bit late on that turn, and it did drift a little bit over the center line. I'm not really blaming it for that particular one, since uh, I should have been a little bit more centered in the lane when I turned it on. Now, it's engaged at 5 miles per hour over speed limit, and it is doing a pretty good job. It did slow down to just under the speed limit in order to make that turn cleanly. Now it's going to make a right turn. And there's no center line. And, in spite of the fact that the center line disappeared, it actually did stay on the correct side of the road. So that's good. It does seem to like hugging that shoulder, though. Carefully. Okay. Let's see what happens when the center line disappears here again. Okay, now I'm taking over. Did not feel like it was making that turn in time, so I went ahead and took over there. Center line returns. Yeah, I don't even have the option of engaging autopilot right now. There we go. And back to auto steer. Slowing down aggressively on this sharp turn, which doesn't have great visibility. One of the things that I'm wondering on this is if the reason that that is happening is because we're not utilizing all of the cameras yet. Um, okay, I'm going to make this turn because I don't trust it. I wonder if once the side cameras start getting used, uh, particularly the T-bar cameras, if that's going to do a better job of picking up these lanes that are actually turning, or if lane detection is going to be exclusively the domain of the front-facing cameras. Okay, now I'm on a dirt road. Where the heck am I? I thought this was going to be a highway. So let's just rename this video series to Bishop Lost in the Woods in the Mountains. <laughs> I was not expecting a dirt road. Oh, what the hell? Let's see if we can turn on autopilot on a dirt road. So far, the answer to that question is no. But it may change here shortly. I'm going to drop it down to 30 miles an hour, which last I checked, I believe, was the posted speed limit. And, yes. It is engaged. However, it's trying to drift towards the center of the road which I don't trust on these blind corners, so I just took back over. Well, this is turning out to be a little bit more scenic than I thought it was going to be, which is actually not a bad thing. Oh, wait, did I go the wrong way? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, I think I've been spending too much attention uh, trying to make these videos and not enough attention on what the nav unit has been telling me. So I think I'm going in completely the wrong direction. At this point it is telling me to turn around an intersection. Um, 
like, yes, I see that I'm definitely going the wrong way. The only question in my mind is, I don't know how long I've been going in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to try to get this whole road trip back on track. I'm going to cut this video short, and I will um, rejoin you once I have a handle on where the heck I am. Thanks for watching.